Hi everyone, this is Erin, and on behalf of Tattered Angels, I'm gonna kinda of show you a little bit of our naturally aged kits. So when you get these kits, you get these little mini bottles from Tattered, Angel, Tattered Angels, and there's a whole variety of these kits. So when you get your kit, a couple of things that it says you're gonna need is you're gonna need a paper towel, a fan, or a flat brush. So we're just gonna use just a nice flat brush like this, and then a heating tool. Now this particular kit is precious stone. So if you've never worked with this, it's really fairly easy. And there's lots of fun things that you can do with this. Keep in mind, these are water-based, acid-free, non-toxic paints. And there are more techs and, sorry, tips and projects at Tattered Angels. So it's www.mytatteredangels.com. All right, so when you open up your kit, you're gonna notice that the regular size bottle that you would normally get of Glimmer Mist or of your paints, these are much smaller because you're getting four of them in one kit. I'm just gonna do a quick little demo of kind of how to do this, but also inside of here, it gives you a step-by-step -step tutorial about how to use and get the, get the look that you're trying to achieve, which is this right here, that you're seeing on the front page. So we're just gonna kind of follow some directions. Now, inside your kit, you're gonna have four little bottles. And all of your bottles, just give me one second, okay? All of your bottles are labeled. And I'm gonna give you kind of a code hint about what some of these things are. GM is Glimmer Mist, so here's another Glimmer Mist. Glaze is your Glimmer Glaze, and here's another one, GL, this is your Glimmer Glaze as well. They just, sometimes there's a different abbreviation. If you have CB, that would be chalkboard, and there's a few others, so if you have a question about what these are about, just kind of think like GM, Glimmer Mist, and so forth. Those are kind of your basic ones that you're gonna get. Um, and so what you're gonna do is you wanna take, sh shake each bottle side to side like this. So you're trying to mix all that yummy glitter that's in the bottom up. If you tilt it this way, it's really hard to get because it sticks to the bottom. So you do want to shake from side to side, just like this. Shake from side to side. My daughter's going to shake this one for us. So you can do this method to pretty much any surface you want to. Paper, wood, and it lists all the fun surfaces here. You do want to put a non-stick mat underneath. And then I'm just gonna follow the steps that it has here. The first thing is you wanna do true turquoise. Now if you look, these are both turquoise. You need to be careful. We have, we have turquoise blue and we have true turquoise. So this is the one we're going for. So we're gonna shake this side to side. And if you wanna make sure you get all the yummy glitterness and all the mica powder that's at the bottom, so shake it from side to side. And we are going to spray this. Leaving some areas where it's darker. Spray and kind of leave some darker and lighter areas. We are then going to take our Ice Gold Glimmer Glam, or Glimmer Glaze, not Glimmer Glam, sorry. And we're going to take some, swirl around. I like getting my uh, brush in there and really kind of get in there. And we're going to add some just kind of splats. And this is my favorite. I like to do it splat like this. Get in there and splat, splat, splat. Makes it look a little more random. It's okay if it spills. Just get in there and have some fun. There's no right or wrong to this. Stones look all different, and that's what we're going for. We're making it look different. Okay, so next thing we're going to do while this is still wet, we're going to take a tiny paintbrush, and we're going to create dots and splatter. So we're just going to keep on going. Sometimes we can draw some lines out. I'm not a painter, per se. I'm really good about kind of messing around. Just kind of get in there and do your thing. So I'm going to go in there with just my heating tool and just do a little bit of heat set. Now, if you want kind of a bubbled crackle look, get really close and really hot on what you're doing. If you don't like that look, then back away or let it air dry between each step. All right, so this is not 100% dry, but we got it to a bitter drying state. And if you notice, it's just kind of random. Now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna shake this one up, and this is the true turquoise. And I'm really gonna hit certain areas, like with more or less. Really pull up some areas, just kind of light in some others. Really kind of have some fun with it. Now I'm gonna heat dry this. Okay, again, not 100% dry, but that's not what I want to do. Now I'm going to go in with the shindig. 
Again, shake it side to side, get all that good glimmer at the bottom out. Whoa, don't flat across your page. And I'm not gonna go back in and use my white, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brush. Get in there and really stir it up. Anything that may be caught up at the top, push it back down. And this is where we're gonna get some heavy. So notice how we have the darker spots here? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of flick and get some darker spots going on. So this is where you really want to kind of go in and have fun heat setting it or you can let it air dry. I'm going to heat set mine get a really good crackle look. Also when you're doing this, notice how it's kind of pooled. You can kind of play with spraying and spreading the paint around and having fun with that too. All right, now I did divert a little bit from the instructions. It said to do the shindig first before we apply the true turquoise, and I did turquoise, then, then I added the shindig. I'm gonna go back and add some more turquoise now. If you do not wanna do the double layers, I think the more layers of colors you add, the better. You could even go back and add a little bit of the true turquoise at this point. So I'm gonna do a little bit of both, actually. I'm gonna do a little bit, add some fun layers of that. And a couple more layers, just really kind of adding to the depth of this whole thing. Now I'm going to heat set this again. And then you got your kind of fun turquoise look. So now my effect looks a lot different than, than the effect on here because everybody's going to be spraying differently. Everybody's going to be applying all of these colors just a little bit differently and that's fine. So. That's the point of these, is have fun with them. You could do this as a background on a piece of wood, you could do this as a background to your scrapbook page, to a card, to all kinds of things. It's just another fun way of kind of layering up your paints and making something fun and unique. So thanks for joining me and checking out the different kinds of naturally aged system. This one is the Precious Stone Turquoise, and come back and I'll probably do some more of these things again. Bye-bye.